Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know that in my channel, a couple of uh, videos are being posted around automotive series and uh, previously I have covered the videos on automotive and automobile. What is a car chassis? What is a CV XL? What is a car exhaust system? And recently I have posted uh, and started giving uh, concentration on what is a car FEAD system and its components. And recently I posted one video on what is a uh, car spring loaded tensioner and on that front I have uh, now started on the damper part in future coming videos I'll cover the idler and belts so in case you have missed out on any of that videos you can just click on the i button just uh, blinking or uh, to see all the automotive series it is very easy to understand and very useful it can be useful if you are into particularly uh, into mechanical background in automotive background or have very much keen interest in the car parts and how they work so in today's video we are going to learn what is a damper before understanding what a, a damper is let's understand in quick flashback what is a FEAD system is so uh, FEAD system stands for, for front and accessory drive system it is a very important part of an engine's design it refers to the system of belts pulleys tensioners that drives various accessories mounted on the front end of an engine so if you see this is the front end of an engine which is quite visibly visible when you open the bonnet and we'll see what are the components of FEAD system Number one is the serpentine belt, damper, tensioner, idler pulley, alternator, power steering pump, air conditioning compressor, water pump and the functions of FEAD system are basically number one is power transmission, driving key accessories whichever I have mentioned above eight accessories, optimizes the efficiency and facilitates accessory operation. So now we will see uh, it also prevents the slippage and wear. So now this is the damper. In this today's video we are going to learn what a harmonic balancer or a crankshaft damper or a torsional vibration damper these are all the names of a damper this is an idler this is an alternator this is the belt this is the tensioner which we already covered in the previous video this is an ac compressor and this is the water pump this is the full-fledged uh, FEAD system comprising of all of the FEAD components generally few of the components are missing here and by but this is comprising of all of it so what is a damper An FEAD front end accessory drive damper also known as an harmonic balancer crankshaft damper or torsional vibration damper is a crucial important component of an internal combustion engine's accessory drive system as I already informed you its primary role is to reduce vibrations damper means to dampen the vibrations and noise and torsional oscillations from the engine's crankshaft whichever the oscillations are coming from the engine its main purpose is to reduce those vibrations and the common features are viscoelastic material or a rubber material most FAD dampers features a uh, material such as rubber or elastomer sandwiched between them just like this this is the main uh, part that uh, observes as you know that rubber has that property to dampen the vibrations and noise these material helps observes and dissipates vibrations and torsional forces it is a two-piece design as you can see Many FAD dampers have a two-piece design with outer ring or inner hub. Crankshaft pulley integration. The damper often incorporates directly on the crankshaft pulley, which is here, and used to drive various other accessories like, as already explained, alternator, power steering pump, AC compressor, etc. Balancing and alignment. High quality FAD dampers are precisely balanced. As you know, the few of the components are cast, uh, casted, as, as casted, and therefore uh, they need to be balanced, right? because as cast uh, have a little high balance on, on the other side and imbalance on the other so generally these kind of holes are being uh, done with the help of machines with how much imbalance is there and that is how the entire damper is being balanced then is the durability and material the outering and other components are typically made from durable materials can be AZ uh, aluminium uh, cast or uh, iron casted uh, element AZ15 uh, such as steel and aluminium to withstand engine vibrations and environmental conditions. In summary, a FEAD damper is a very important component for managing engine vibrations and ensuring smooth operation. When choosing or maintaining an FEAD damper, consider compatibility, quality, installation and regular inspection to ensure optimal performance and protect your engine from potential damage. As you know, if the damper is go not going to work, 
it is not going to impart any of the power to any of the accessories and you may see that engine will not even crank also if and a car engine is the heart of a vehicle and if the car engine does not crank or sparks or does not work car is not going to move so now we will understand the type of dampers so as you can see here is an overview of the different types of FEAT dampers number one is the simple damper which is a standard design this is a hub and above it is the inner sharing on which the belt is being mounted and in between it is the rubber which is being sandwiched between all of these three components just a three piece design a very important function dual damper which is a dual mass damper which looks like this generally dual mass dampers we will understand in the next slides they move in uh, two different uh, vibrations and uh, uh, do uh, perform dual roles vibrating damper or a viscous damper generally comprises of a viscous fluid and used in generally heavy vehicles duty vehicles elastic damping or uh, uh, rubber bonded damper and just an injection molded uh, uh, just like a plastic is being molded uh, similarly a rubber is being bound, bonded uh, liquid form of rubber and then let it uh, allow to cool then the types of dampers uh, will learn in the details as told you single damper which is a standard damper it is the most basic type typically consisting of a single solid mass with bonded rubber or elastomer layer its functions is to it absorbs basic vibrations and torsional forces but may not be as effective in high performance applications and commonly used in uh, passenger vehicles and engines where high performance is not a primary concern just like a hatchback sedan uh, kind of cars it can be easily used then dual mass dual damper features two separate masses as already quoted in previous slide often separated by a layer of viscoelastic rubber the two masses can move independently to observe different frequencies of vibration its function is that it offers better control of vibrations and torsional oscillations particularly <laughs> useful in high performance or high heavy duty engines in heavy duty trucks where enhanced vibration control is required is its main application then viscous dampers it is a utilizes a viscous fluid between the inner and outer parts of the damper now here rubber is not there but the viscous fluid helps absorb and dissipate vibrations through shear forces its function is that it provides effective damping across wide range of frequencies often used in high performance and racing applications and even heavy duty applications ideal for high performance engines it can be used in trucks as well rubber bonded damper it incorporates a rubber or elastomeric material to absorb vibrations the material is often bonded between the outer ring and the inner ring hub as i already explained it absorbs low to moderate level of vibrations this type is more flexible and less complex than viscous dampers it's common in standard uh, passenger vehicles and light duty applications so basically in passenger vehicles you can find rubber bonded and single damper whereas in heavy duties you can find dual mass dual damper or viscous dampers so this is the components and the exploded view of a single damper just three components but very crucial role to play is the rubber inner sharing on which the belt is being mounted three holes are there or and n numbers of holes which can be defined like in the drawing uh, nine numbers maximum is allowed particular depth should be there particular dia is allowable rubber used to absorb uh, and dampen the vibrations and a hub sandwich between rubber is being sandwiched between inner sharing and hub and looks like this components of the viscous damper so in, uh, in this uh, presentation i'm just covering viscous and single uh, pulley damper because these are the most commonly used dampers so here on the right side you can see the cut section how it looks like this, these are the fin plates just to dissipate heat this is the hub if you see here it is being in the sandwiched or placed between the uh, casing l shape bushings here just to ensure that there is particular kind of clearances and uh, inner sharing moves freely this is the inner sharing here inner sharing is in the casing of the hub casing then this is the end cap just to mount all the components together and another fin plate to just uh, have a proper dissipations and here if you see uh, here the belt is being mounted so now we'll understand the function of a damper 
as you know that uh, for a front end accessory damper also known as a harmonic uh, balancer serves se several critical functions in IC engine number one is vibration absorption the primary role of an FED damper is to uh, observe and reduce engine vibrations it helps smooth out the engine's operation by minimizing the transmission of vibrations to the vehicle chassis and other components so that as we sit in the car we don't uh, see excessive vibrations and we see the stability in the car while we drive second is the torsional vibration control the FED damper controls torsional vibrations which are twisting forces that occur in the crankshaft due to firing impulses of the engine these vibrations can lead to wear and stress on the crankshaft and other engine components then the third one is the smooth operation of accessories as you know it is essential that a damper can uh, make run all the other accessories like uh, power steering pump, water pump, AC compressor, etc. Then is the reduce reduction of the engine noise. By absorbing vibrations and reducing noise, the FED damper contributes to a quieter engine operation. Now we'll learn about the working of a damper uh, by some theoretical and then we'll see a video how a damper works. So this is the basic structure outer ring as I already told you inertia ring portion of a damper typically made from heavy duty materials like steel or aluminium is attached uh, to front of the crankshaft then it there is the in, inner hub cast hub mounted directly on the crankshaft to of is, and is often connected to engine's accessory drive system via belt then a uh, viscoelastic material rubber between outer ring and inner hub absorption of vibrations engine generates vibrations due to combustion process, control of torsional oscillations, are twisting forces generated by engines firing impulses, reduction of engine noise, noise mitigation by absorbing vibration and smoothing out rotational forces. So now we'll see a quick video where damper is being placed and how it uh, functions. automatic tensioner so this tensioner is the damper belt doesn't slip and squeal this is tensioner alternator idler the crankshaft pulley and directly connected to the crankshaft and it rotates and this is the serpentine belt now we'll see the symptoms of a faulty damper and then how a damper can just move out of the working engine if it is uh, faulty a faulty harmonic balancer can cause a range of symptoms in an automobile this component can help to reduce engine vibration and keep crankshaft running. When it's not functioning properly, we can see following symptoms which are number one, engine vibration. Increased engine vibration can uh, particularly be observed at idle or under acceleration condition, which can be a sign of a uh, failing uh, damper. Unusual noises. A failing harmonic balancer can produce clunking, rattling or squealing noises. Crankshaft fully misalignment is a very common issue. You may notice that the crankshaft pulley is misaligned or wobbling and we'll see that in the video. This can be visually inspected by uh, with the engine running and closely monitoring in the slow-mo uh, video and recording it. Increased engine vibration in the cabin, you might feel vibration in the cabin while driving. Difficulty in the uh, cranking or starting of the engine. In severe cases, the damaged balancer can affect the starting of the engine due to alignment issues. Engine performance issues engine is not giving the optimal performance such as rough idle misfires or hesitation during acceleration visible damage if we inspect we might see signs of damage such as cracks separation of rubber ring from um, the metal parts or excessive wobbling excessive wobbling example we'll see in the next video or a check engine light can be observed so we need to just look out of the complete FEAD system including engine what might be the fault so in this video uh, just uh, let's see uh, the how the temperature uh, uh, the damper gets affected if the so if you see the rubbers are forming cracks uh, since it, it is getting aged and this is how the damper gets stuck out of the uh, its, uh, assembly which is being sent rubber is being sandwiched between uh, inert sharing and hub and it gets dismantled rubber is there and inert sharing moved out and and belt also 
got dismantled. So mm. this is how. The now accessories other can... accessories are not going to get any of the uh, power. So I hope you uh, understood the whole concept of uh, harmonic balancer or damper or a crankshaft damper or torsional vibration dampers. Uh, I hope I'm able to make you understand everything about dampers in detail. In case you have still questions regarding this, uh, you can just pin uh, your comment um, uh, or, or type the comment in the comment section and I'll reply you as soon as I see it. Uh, see you next video. Bye bye.